my name is. This is the way you react to wonderful news. This is a blessing. You should be ashamed of yourselves. That's my name. Holy dudes is the one, the only drag. Oh wow, oh wow, we indeed, we finally got the anniversary. Eight event is here, and it is a event as well. You know, like a little small uh, game thing. Do me one of little events, and it's separate basically to the the main game. What I'm trying to get at. I do think that's really good because a lot of people can complain about like last couple of events. Oh, they should have put this as, as a separate game mode, and they have done it. And it's pretty good. I say they have done a good job. The little special abilities you get from the little cards. Uh, you got fast ones. You got ones that show you totems. To me, they're all right, but the ones what make you fast, you mean they are pretty much broken. Like, they make you speedy, 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 to the point it's like, yeah, this is insanity, this is crazy. I, I do think the event is a bit wacky, um, but I do think a lot of the killers, like, I'm not being like, oh, bias. But I play both sides, let me tell you, I play both sides, but every time I go against a killer playing Survivor, they're so sweaty. I'm not lying to you, this event is very sweaty, I, I, I'm just not joking you. I may see it a lot on like when, when playing Survivor when I go against a killer. I do think this event is very insanity. Trust me, when a killer gets like, exposed, you're like, oh my days. So they can hit you, chuck you in a hole, hit somebody else, chuck you in a hole. I seen it happen. I was like, holy macaroni, this is very powerful. It's unbelievable how powerful it is. I do think it's very killer sad. And other people will get mad. Trust me. It's so, so bad when you get the exposed to this and then chuck you in the hole and hit the number of person. It's just very sweaty. I see it more when I play Survivor. I notice that when I play Survivor, I go against a killer. I see it more like that. Some people disagree, but I, I, I play both sides. I, I see it more when I play Survivor and I go against a killer. The killer's so sweaty out of the mind. So what makes it all so killer-sided? You can literally turn your terror radio off. Literally, you turn it off. Just turn it the fucker off. You, you see the gameplay. I didn't even know. I hear it. Everyone's like, "Oh crap!" I need to get out. Didn't get a chance. Boom! Went down. Boom! Went no person went down. Uh, it's just madness. I do think that's very OP. It's just unfair. And yet again, I do say it's it is completely insanity. This whole event. But yet again, I do think that's unfair. Like the exposed status. The exposed status shouldn't last so long. But the terror radius also shouldn't last so long. But it's just utter madness. It is a bit unfair. I just wish. It doesn't last so long and also it's like some of the survivor abilities you get from the cards it's not that good like i think they should have made the perks random it will massively help this game mode out and you know what I mean random perks will be like hey stop people using the hard like i use it hard like you can see right here i'm using dead hard i'm using one of the opportunity like killers who use like pain reds uh not people like not stuff like your hands because it's a bit unfair when, when, when you bring something to the match you want to use it i'm saying like stuff like that it should have been all random like you don't know what perks you're getting i think that would have been really cool if they put that in make the game even more wacky and more fun because you're not relying on like dead hard or pain res it would have yet again made the game more fun and wacky at the same time because it's already chaos it's already insanity it should have been more like wackier like hey i got random picks don't know what pick can bring to the match but it's gonna be fun but this event is good but i just think the exposed size let me explain what, how you get it basically if you get the full heal one and it says exposed well you're fucked you are literally fucked people you are gonna be screwed because now the killer is going to literally do what i said hit everybody and put them on the hooks it's a bit unfair because it lasts so long i'm not saying this event's bad because a lot of people say, oh, because you said it's the killer side. It is. It's very killer sided. If you get this and that ability, you are literally fucked. You are literally screwed. And also the camping and tunneling. It's, it's just unbelievable. It's like, it's a fucking event. It's like, I get where people do generators too fast. It's nothing else to do. That's also what's the bad thing. It's, it's nothing else to do. So people will do generators. It's just one of the things. Like, you've got nothing else to do. So. Okay, I'll just do a generator. The game's so insanity because there's nothing else to do, so the generators will be popping. I know I said it, but it's so true. This is why generators will keep popping. Like, if they literally said, hey, you have to get your party invite and do this in X, Y, and Z, and there's another way to escape the game, people will love that. I just think it's a bit unfair for, like, killer. Like, there's nothing else to do with Survivor, so they'll be popping gens left and right. That's why I'm thinking killers are, like, camping and tunneling and proxy camping, because... Yeah, again, generators are popping left and right. So I just think they should have put something else in, like, hey, you should get your party invite, do this. Uh, there's another way to escape. It, it, it would have been really cool if they'd done that. That style for this event looks really good. And the masquerade lady, Yumi, she kind of reminds me of a lot of Tiny Tina from Borderlands. 
but the she does get a bit annoying here and there but overall i do wish she was like a skin or a new character uh but she looks like sable ward a bit if if someone said to me oh she's sable ward from a different universe i'd be like wow you know what i mean that, that, that'd be pretty cool but uh, if, if, if we could put her in the game or somehow, please, or oh, please, she, she's a really cool character. And a new little battle pass you get for free. Uh, it's alright. I do like, I do really want Bill's costume. That's like the best thing I really want because it's a new Bill costume. And we have had one for a long time. I do like Young Jin Lee's mask. It looks really cool. Yeah, again, I'm a big fan of Young Jin Lee, the big boot trigger 3000. I do, I do think that she has got the best mask. The anniversary 9 you know, when it comes out next year, I, I just think they should add a lot of new stuff, like a new way to escape the game or something new to do something. Because there's nothing new. I know it's it, but I just feel like there's something new needs to be done. And stuff like, hey, just do generators, do generators, just go get you a party invite. There should be something else because I do think it is unfair for like killers because people will be pumping out gens left and right because yeah, there's something else to do for survivors. Whole saying goes as well for killer because there's nothing else for them to do. Just chase survivors, take them down, put them in hook, uh, kick generators. You know I mean there should be something else to do for killers? I'm not sure what, but yeah, again, there should be something else. For survivors, should be else, something else as well. I know, I keep saying, but it's nothing else to do apart from do generators hook somebody, do you know I mean do X, Y, and Z, do the exact same thing you always do playing the by daylight. It should be something different. Not my biggest gripe about this event, but overall I like how it works. I really like the new Master Ray Lady. I do think she should be a character or a costume for uh, Sable because she kind of looks like Sable a bit. She sounds like Tiny Tina from Borderlands, but overall I like, I like a lot of things with this event. But I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because it is fun and enjoyable. But I'm just a bit sad, like, every time I play this game, it's just literally rinse, repeat, people camping or tournament or proxy camping. It's just boring. It's a fucking event. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 just because a lot of it's like, hey, it's something else to do. It's not getting it an 8 out of 10 just because a lot of people proxy camping and camping around and tunneling and all that crap. It's mainly getting it an 8 out of 10 just, just because there's nothing else to do for survivor and killer. It's like, oh, go get kills. Oh, go do generators. I just think if there was something else, something new and refreshing, that's when it will get a 10 out of 10. But I do think it's very enjoyable with the cards and other stuff. It is very enjoyable. So what do you think of the event? And do you think it's the best event we've got? If you think so, please, please just tell me. And also, do you think it's the exact same thing what I'm saying in this video? And also, if you disagree, please also tell me because it massively helps. And yeah, please like and subscribe. So yeah, sign on for now. Have a great day. <laughs>